that backstory with Shinon, Shinon, right? It's not Shion, it's Shinon. Sinon. Shinon? Sinon. Sinon. Sinon's mom. She sucks. She is an absolute L of a mother. In the bank robbery, it's not a bank robbery. It was actually a post office robbery, right? It was a post office robbery. Dude comes in with the gun. She's known as a child. Mom's in danger. She's so brave, she goes to bite the guy's hand. Gun falls down. And Shino pretty much has to defend herself by shooting the guy. And what does the mom do? She's like... She's like shocked in horror. And I'm like, bro, we should have shot the goddamn mom too. And ever since then, we have like trauma. And she's really scared of guns. Even though she has a model at home. And she, even though she has... He plays games grounded in guns. The whole thing is, I must become stronger to overcome my fears. And now Kirito is also joining in GGO, saying to Asuna, I'm leaving, I'm sorry, I guess you're not the main heroine of this season either. You know, last part, you know, Tsugu was there. This this part, you know, like, I guess Asuna's benched. Kirito and Shinon, when they met, how, when they meet, is there gonna be more of a harm forming? I don't know. So far, Shinon looks so fucking cool. I love how independent and strong she is. But if she folds... Mm, let's begin today's reaction. This gun is... 99% まで Kirito. All right, we skipped the uh, character customization. Yeah, this is a real game, bro. No more children's fucking fairy games. This is where the big boys play, bro. See all dripped out in black as usual. That's a long hair. That's a really long hair. This look just looks like any wife with a Kirito would add to the harem. Kirito's a girl? What? Did he not choose the right gender for this? Wait. Gugo. Gunshot. I guess he just got the fanboy model, unless he's just a flag girl. I, I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Wait, is this a rare skin? Like the way that he spawned in, it's just like a rare model, so it's RNG model. And he's like, shit, you got the fanboy model? There's a titty there. What's what's going on? Okay, the it's not the F-1300, we got the M-9000, it's even better. The, the girl model was 2x, he's willing to go 5x for this one, goddamn. Femboy over a waifu, confirmed. Converted one. It's not a default, it's a converted. <laughs> Does bro want to, like, so, so let, let me think about this straight. If, if this model was an actual thing, would he be able to buy it? Then basically look like Kirito right now. That's how this game works. There's different like skins, different like models that you can customize and you can have all your base character stats, but it's just a simply new aesthetic look. That's pretty fun, I guess. So, well, you know, Kirito has been just, you know, adding girls to his harem, whether or not he wants it or not. But I guess now we got to go beyond. It's just been too boring. Having, you know, a new waifu being added every time. So it's like, nah, how about I become the waifu? I'll add myself to the harem. Start some shit. <laughs> I love your eyes. <laughs> Yo, remember Klein? Uh, Klein was pretty much hitting on Kirito in SAO Season 1 before it was this, right? Klein was like, yo, you kind of bussin' for real, for real. So Klein was in this game and he saw Kirito like this. All the guys are fucking flirting with us, guys. <laughs> How are we gonna meet Shinon? Wow, she just literally showed up. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, what are the events that's gonna happen? Is he need to go on some kind of quest? Is he gonna get recruited? And it's like, she not just shows up. She just walking in broad daylight. Hey, what's up? it's not daylight, but you know what I mean. No, because what if she thinks that you're a girl? Wait, and if that happens, are we gonna like? Keep this like identity of being like a girl the entire time and Shino won't fall in love with Kirito because it's like a girl. And then what if it's like 
plot twist. Shinon actually likes girls more than guys, and it goes a Yuri plot out of nowhere. That would be some insane shit. I'm a girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> can I have some Mesos plucks, please? This could be in your favor if you know how to use it right, though. See? See? This is the fucking gender standards, bro. If a guy tried to do this shit, she'd be looking at you with disgust. But if it's a girl, she's like, oh, so open. Higher pitch voice. Kirito, higher pitch voice. Is it gonna tell her? I'm a guy. <laughs> can, can I have some gold, please? It's working, though. What the fuck? <laughs> We're actually doing it for a while. How long is this gonna last, bro? But at least if we do this, you know, we're not gonna be cheating on Asuna. So, you know, maybe Asuna's safe from, you know, Shino, man. Governor General? The tournament. Yeah, that makes no sense. You're a new player. How the fuck are you gonna enter? Right, so converted account, so we can basically bring all the SAO stats into this. So in every game Kirito plays that revolves around Zasido, basically his stats are always gonna be end game stats, and he just basically has to learn about the game mechanics, right? A uh, garment worker sent me here to figure out the mystery. The black swordsman is gonna be the black gunsman? Really? Market. What a interesting, cool name. It's called Market. Who are these girls? Two major weapon times. Energy and physical. Blasters and physical guns, right? Yeah. Okay, we can have a barrier against blasters. Probably Agi, right? Really? Mostly strength? Strength was so important a couple episodes ago. Shinon was talking about how she's... Some guy was jealous that Shinon actually went in on strength so she could use Hekate too. While everyone else got baited into going Agi. But Kirito has enough strength. Okay, okay. Strength agility types. The best of both worlds. Hmm. I would believe that Kirito would have a lot of strength if he actually used a great sword in the game, but he uses fucking pussy ass little one handed swords that you know you fucking dual wield, bro. Come on now. If it's a guts great sword, I'd be like, yeah, strength for sure. But like, come on, you think the fucking swords that Kirito uses the tiny ass fucking. I don't want to disrespect the one handed swords, but if you compare it, the ALO sword, that was a bit bigger. That was a bit bigger. But by that time, he was already fucking converted the stats over already. And do you know that the one sword that's supposed to be the two-handed sword doesn't even come close to the fucking guts great sword I'm talking? Do you even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now? Let's do a fucking comparison. You guys want to be fucking annoying about this? I'll fucking show you the comparison, bro. Look, look at this. We got an entire fucking tier list of the fucking swords, bro. You see the dragon slayer right there? You see the fucking dragon slayer right here? This is a real man sword. I believe that. But like, Kirito is using like the fucking pupper slayer, bro. Kirito's not even. And these are the other fucking great swords. The other swords don't even come close. Like, Kirito's using the fucking pupper slayer, bro. I'm talking about these goddamn great swords, bro. Doesn't really matter though. Kirito's got strength and edgy. Oh, what does he have? What does he have? 1,000 credits. Life, weight, EXP. Kirito. Skill, zero, zero out of zero, zero. Okay. We should beg for money in the street and use our fanboy appeal. So fucking easy, dude. Yeah, Gamba? Gamba! Oh, let's go! Let's go, Gamba! Is he actually gonna gamble and get all the money? Dodge. Oh, he should be able to dodge. Kirito's fast as fuck. He can do this. So they have to bet against... Oh! Why? 
It's like an impossible game. Oh, the prediction lines are like the red line that traces the bullets that we saw the episode when Shinon was fighting the minigun guy. I remember that. All right, good luck. How far is this guy going to make it? From here to the moon. That's actually really good English. I am amazed at this guy. This robot cowboy's English is actually fantastic. Dude, this fucking... Okay, his friend... This group looks funny as fuck. We got a big chunky baldy who also looks like the avatar. Bruce got the fucking the, the purple arrow coming down. Yo, this is that avatar kid after after a time scare. He got so chunky, wasn't he a kid? And then we have, you know, military dude. Bro is fucking neat time his friend. And then we got pirate Pompadour here, which I feel like could be a character in Windbreaker. Uh the the line, the tracing. The tracking thing. The bullet line. You know, Kirito's entire thing is reaction, right? It, it, well, so am I. But like, I'm, I'm talking like speed, right? Kirito is like speed. He's fast as fuck. He can react. He's like got unique skill dual wheel because he had the fastest reaction time. If you now give me a trace, you can see the bullets coming. Bro should be able to react to fucking every bullet, right? Like, no one should be able to hit Kirito, assuming that we carry over the speed and the reaction. I'll kill you. Eight meter line though. <laughs> All right, more money to the pot though. Kirito can do it. Oh shit. Cute. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Wanna take a look at this cutie, man? <laughs> Did he do something a bit different? So like, what I'm realizing is before the guy would like pick a pose, right? And then he would wait and then the bullets would shoot. But Kirito here was like, nah, I'm gonna keep going until the shots actually happen. Therefore saving time and basically proceeding faster and further, right? Oh shit! He's going left and right! New soundtrack. Holy shit, he's the one! Yeah! Oh, that's a new mode! Easy! Bro had a fucking cheat that nobody probably even got to, right? So like we talked about the eight meter line, but when you get this close, it's the, the gun changes in the third phase, it's like blaster. And this is the final step. Or maybe that was the 8 meter line, who knows. This noob, first day playing. No! Like, the only Gamba part is like people pulling the money. But this was all skill in my opinion. That's a lot of fucking money, so can we buy the best gun ever now? Come on! Hey, chicken, come on, the fucking NPC line. Aw, oh, you should have seen me in season one, bro. Okay, so it was special. The eight meter line has got rapid fire, quick shots. But then the two meter line, there was some like crazy burst blasters happening. Uh, yeah. I, I just react. Easy. React. I guess. Did he predict? He did say by the time that the tracing is there, it's too late. Is he predicting? Did he anticipate that? Or did he just purely react? Did he read or did he react? I can't tell. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Even the robot pro character there. Wait, wait, wait. You're not supposed to be doing this. The robot's not programmed to do this. It went sentient for a second. Sayo, and then a fairy children's game. A racist fairy children's game. Okay. Shinon is kind of wary, kind of on guard maybe, but 
helpful. I don't know shit about guns. She's a gun nerd, huh? She would fit in just along with the Hirano from High School of the Dead. Some OP black gun. Bro has to buy some kind of black gun, right? What is it? Energy. This motherfucker is not going to shoot a goddamn gun, is he? This motherfucker is going to play SAO and GGO. <laughs> no, wait. Have you ever played a game called um, Guns Online? It's a pretty niche game, very old game, crazy game where if you have enough mechanics, you can like fucking press fucking buttons and fucking just climb and fucking fly on walls and shit. But the idea in that game is not only do you have a gun, you have a sword. And with a sword, if you're fast enough in reaction time, you can deflect all the fucking bullets and you can basically just kill somebody with the sword. With Kirito's reaction time and speed, uh, with, and with the sword, these bullets aren't gonna do shit. And you could argue he doesn't need to rely on bullets either. Bro is literally gonna dual wield fucking black laser swords. You're right, lightsabers. <laughs> the photon sword. <laughs> He's so excited about that. Why? Why does no one use it? Well, I mean, yeah, obviously. Only if you can't dodge, but Kirito, he can fucking dodge and react to everything. So the sword is actually gonna be fucking cracked. So he's gonna be the only player that's ever used the sword. Probably a weapon. He pro many people thought was fucking useless. And he's gonna define his own meta because only he can do it. Yeah, just dodge. Don't get hit. Yeah, could he dodge against that minigun? Black Swordsman. Oh, that was fast. Only one? You get two! You get two! You, you gotta dual wield! Purple. Oh. What about this is black? Only the fucking hilt is kind of black and not even. It's like silver here. I thought it was just going to be pure jet black. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. The old SAO stuff. Yeah, it even does that glowy like sound of a lightsaber. <laughs> Staring right at her vest. <laughs> oh! He was so used to like putting his sword in like this idle animation, right? There's no scabbard there. It's like, wait, wait, wait. In this game, I gotta like press a button. <laughs> oh, what would be really good for Kirito is like, like grenade, smoke bombs, flashbangs. Those would be really good, right? To kind of close the distance. Damn, that beam sword was 150k? Holy shit. Bang. I swear to God, if he's a prodigy at this too. How good is he at shooting? It like synchronized with the breathing. What? That is... That's bullshit. There's no skill to this game. It's random? There's no crossfires. You just bolted randomly somewhere. What? How the fuck was she not even sniping with Hecate then? The range, I guess like you would want the, hum the person to be like fully encompassed in the circle to guarantee the shot. But how do you make the circle as small as possible? How do you do that to make sure it's like a fungal... Like a single fucking dot to make it like a crosshair. It's kind of going like this, but is that can it go like tiny like this? Decrease the pulse then. Then the circle. Want to squeeze it? Oh, it's getting caught. It's gonna spot. Oh! If you're almost dead, just make your heart stop beating. I guess it's a cool mechanic, in the sense that. Your aim and shit will go all wrong if you um, start panicking. So the mental state of the player will also reflect the accuracy. I, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just so used to having like crosshairs and you know, e e even like in crosshairs like in Valorant, right? It's like, it's not 100% accurate. There's some bullshit that happens. There's also recoil, you know, you, if you keep shooting, the gun goes up or down. You got to make sure you got to fucking, you know, position it down, stuff like that. And on top of that, those are like actual video games where you don't have to worry about like, the distance and like wind and stuff like that because in some other games 
um, some first person shooter games. If you're sniping, it's not as simple as just like putting your hair, like hair cross or your, 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 whatever, the dot on like a person. You have to like put it above them, anticipating the bullet's gonna drop or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally female. Still a girl. Yes, we gotta enter Bob. Wait, today was the fucking deadline to sign up and you were fucking around? You got 10 minutes? Kiriso, pick her up and run because you're so fast. Rizzer, rent a buggy. Lucky. Main character plot armor. Oh! Both girls. Alright! And at this point, I'd be like, where the fuck did you learn how to drive this? But we did see Kirito with like a motorcycle, right? Oh, yo, yo, where, where is she knowing? She, okay, careful. What are you grabbing? You gotta be careful when you're grabbing around the lady. Kirito can. Kirito's the main character. I used to play racing games. I can just drive this. Kimochi? Yeah? Faster? Go faster? Okay. That feels good. It looks like she's actually having a lot of fun, though, huh? I've never seen her smile like this. All right, we're in. This is actually kind of nice. Like, we're not doing like... I, she is getting catfished, but like, there's no like creepy shit going on. And like, I don't know, she's just smiling because she's been so depressed the last couple episodes. What the fuck was today's episode? And that's today's episode. Holy shit, that was, that was the fastest fucking episode. What did we do today? We just gambled. Well, we didn't really gamble. I argue that's all skill. But Kirito has entered GGO. And because he's a converted character, I'm just going to assume that the nurse... Who do you think designed Kirito's model? Because the nurse is kind of thirsty for Kirito. So most likely the nurse had to do something with it, or it was the government worker. Anyways, someone was behind Kirito's fanboy model. I'm not complaining. The other guys were like, oh my god, that model, the F-1300, miss? Well, I'm a guy. Oh, it's a trap model. I'll pay 5x. I guess it's a very hot commodity here, huh? Now, what do we do today? It's like shopping around for guns. We meet Shinon and we gotta find a gun because it's a fucking gun game, right? But turns out you don't need a fucking gun. Just have a sword, dummy! Use a lightsaber! And with Kirito's insane reaction speed, he should be able to beat anybody in this game. Nobody should be able to hit him. If he has the reaction speed and can deflect bullets around, he closes the gap. One shot, one kill. Looks like Kirito's gonna be fucking insane in this game as well. This whole Gamba thing with the cowboy, I think the only Gamba aspect of it is like, it's like people pulling the money to see if they can win or not. But I'd say it's more skill-based and bro, this is the fucking avatar the last airbender, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, straight up. This guy, this is the arrow. This is 100% avatar the last airbender reference, right? It's that Aang kid, right? Like, what are you talking about? Bro, really good. It's a big time skip happened since the last time, you know, I saw commercials for Avatar The Last Airbender, bro. Bro's grown a lot. The, the, we got the lightsaber, we got like a minigun, and now we're basically hurrying off to, you know, sign up for the, the contest because in order to play Bob, you got fucking 10 minutes and crazy that she don't, didn't even know. But that's it for me, if you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, Take care.